你好，小王。多了。Welcome back to Juyi Dopei. This time we're going to talk about some vocabulary and learn some vocabulary words with some basic grammar. Really super important. Pronunciation is good and all, but we really have to build vocabulary. We have some flashcards for you in an attached file, and we also have this as part of a worksheet. These are 30 new words I want you to learn this week. With the flashcards, go ahead on the back of them, write in maybe a light pencil the definition of the word, or even better, if you could manage to draw a picture, it works better for our brain that way. Otherwise,、uh, print it out on some thick cardstock, then you can write on the back however you like. So, first, let's get into some words. Personal pronouns. A personal pronoun has to do with yourself, your person, me, you, they, them. This is a personal pronoun. Something very interesting that the Hmong does with these personal pronouns is in English we have me or I, you, you, one of you, you two of you, you all of you.、Uh, it doesn't really matter. We just have you.、Um, we have us, and we have them. We have they. But Hmong breaks it down into a little bit more of a specific. There's either one of you or me. There's either two of you or me. Or there's three or more of you or us. So let's look at the first one. I or me is pronounced. Gu. Follow me. Gu. Two of us. U. Three or more of us, three people or a group. Bay. Bay. Okay. Now we have you, one of you. I'm talking to one of you. Ga. Ga. Two specifically of you. Nay. Nay. Three or more of you, all of you, or in the south we'd say y'all <laughs> would be nay, nay. Then we have a word for he, she, or it. Nu, nu. For two of them, they. Go, go, and three or more of them, or they would be low, low. Another one that we can use in place of go would be you, you. When one doesn't really feel this way, or when one doesn't do this, or when one is misled, we can replace "go" with "you." I'm talking about oneself. Another one is a plural about other people, about others. I'm talking when we're talking about others in the family, or others here, or others there. We will say "lua." Lua. Very good. These are personal pronouns. As you can see, that I have them here on the left in bold on the worksheet. Next to that, we're going to put some verbs. Verbs would come next in this grammar recipe.、Uh, to want would be sa. Follow me. Sa. To go. Mu. Mu. To like, nia, nia. To know, bao, bao. To come, tua, tua. To say, hi, hi. To eat, no, no. To teach, kia, kia. To read, nyang, 
nyang. Underneath that, we have this negative particle that we're going to use for making sentences. Uh, it means not or no, but we need to put it with a verb for it to make sense. So we'll say g, g. This ts kind of makes the letter g sound like what's up, g, <laughs> g. A low tone, g. Now let's add some nouns to make it a nice complete round sentence for us to practice with. God would be va chu, follow me, va chu. Baby would be menua, menua. House is j, j. Rice is ma. Ma. Word is lu. Lu. People are tining. Tining. Law. Gate die. Gate die. Time is she ho. She ho. Money is nia. Nia. Okay, on the worksheet, you'll notice that we added a chart so that you can see how these kind of fit together. Call it uh, a little cheat sheet that you can uh, use to help remember which one you need to use where. Practice, practice, practice. They're super easy to get mixed up, but that's what we have these flashcards for. Use these flashcards over and over and over again until you keep getting it right. That is your homework for this week. I know you can do it. And another part of the homework, not just learning individually what the words mean, but practice making grammar out of them. Let's make some sentences. What would that be like? Let's take a look. Here's a sentence with the flashcards that's consistent with the worksheet I printed. Personal pronouns in bold. Verbs are in italics and nouns are underlined. The sentence is be na ma be na ma we eat food or we eat rice. And another thing you can do with this is add this word. G. This makes the sentence negative. Be G na ma we don't eat rice. We don't eat food. Be ji no mo. Very good. Here's another example. Personal pronoun first. Lo nia. Thi ning. They like people. Lo nia thi ning. Lo nia thi ning. Alternatively, lo ji nia thi ning. They don't like people. Lo ji nia thi ning. They don't like people. So again, part of your homework is to take these flashcards, mix them up, do the recipe of personal pronoun, verb, and then noun, and come up with as many sentences as possible that you think are correct. Write them down on a piece of paper and check them with the native. Keep practicing these sentences. Every little bit that you do is training your brain to get the right structure, the right vocabulary. You're using it. You'll be able to hear it when you're talking with other people, and you're just going to keep progressing. So really, really please learn these 30 words between now and next week. We're going to have some more work to do next week, and we'll just keep building on this. You guys are going to be fluent in no time. Hang in there. Do great. You can do it. Work, work. We'll see you next time on Juyi Dao Bay.